What's up, mentorship freaks? It's a daily dose of the mentorship motivator. Today, we're talking about one of our favorite things. You see in the headline, we are talking about money, cash, and yeah, we could. We all, of course, we all know that you're doing something. Whatever you do, you have a reason why you do it. There's, it's deep. We're in this group, a group like this, because it's deep in your bones, in your DNA, why you do something. But you're unable to really do what you do without money being involved. So money always has to be part of the equation. If you have a problem talking about money, problem with discussing money, problem with asking for money, that's a problem. So hopefully, I'm pretty sure we're over that by now. We know, of course, yes, we want to make impact. Yes, we want to help people. Yes, it's always all about them. But it's, we can't make that happen without money exchanging hands. So money is going to create impact. It's just going to, it's just what happens. Money's going to, Basically, money moves your message into the freaking community. Money carries your message into the community with your marketing, with your thing, products you can make and give out to people, the gifts that you could do, your the fundraisers that you can donate to, the charity char, charities that you, you run or, or fundraiser drives that you do, all that stuff. So you need to focus on the money tasks it, and, and don't think that you're being selfish for it. You're actually being very unselfish for it because the more money you make, the more impact. You've heard this, this saying, the higher your impact, the higher your income. And it could go both ways. The higher your income, the higher your impact. So you need income to make impact. And in order to do that, you have to be able to influence people. The three ins: Influence, income, impact. It all goes together. So you need to focus on those big money tasks, those big rocks, the things that are going to move the freaking needle in your business. This, Like for us, that's obviously our sales of long-term memberships. It's for sales of trials. It's for sales of supplements and upselling from one type of training to another type of training, like adding in personal training. So what is that for you or clothing or whatever else, but also generating leads is a formal, is a high money task, right? Cause you need leads in order to sell them. So then how, what else you need to do is work on your selling skills. That is a money related task. Those are the big fucking rocks. Part of your 5%, the money move. Cause that's, what's moving the needle, right? You need to be able to move the needle or maybe reselling your closed deals and resell. You're reselling the closed deal every month, whether you, whether you know it or not, if you have some, rec- some kind of recurring service or anything, you want them to continue doing business with you. You need to resell your services on an ongoing basis just by delivering what you promise and above and beyond what you promise. That's all money related. You have to think of it that way. And it's not making you selfish. It's not making you like greedy. Oh, you're just thinking about money. No, but you understand that that's the way the world works. Everything in your life, everything around you, look around. Every single thing there got there because of money. Every single thing. This phone I'm talking into, the phone came with money. The way that I could connect you, it costs money. The car I'm sitting in costs money. The jacket, the clothes, the shirt, the razor to shave this bald head and the shaving cream costs money. The water to rinse the razor costs money. It all costs money. So you can't do anything without money. So don't feel bad or don't feel guilty or feel like people are going to think you're just all about money. No, because you're making a freaking impact. You're making shit happen. You're making things go on in the community. You're also able to then donate regularly to different causes and, and things that you want. So generating leads, getting referrals from your current clients, constantly getting referrals from them is money related. These are the top priority things you need to be worrying about. The, the, the deals that you don't close, the deals you don't get, following up with them, even spending, you have to spend money on the ones you didn't even close. Look, sending out those stakes we were talking about. Shit costs money. It all costs money. Reselling a, clo- a closed deal that just closed. We know buyer's remorse is huge. It is in our industry. They, they'll sign up for a 12-month program and, and a day or two later before ever even starting try to back out. They get that buyer's remorse. It happens all the time. Those are the high, high level tasks you need to be focusing on. Money allows you to pay your bills, allows you to live in your home, allows you to buy clothes for your kids, allows you to give your kids a good life, allows you to do things with your kids that you didn't get to do in your own childhood. Maybe this is why it's so important. I, I hate people that talk bad about money. Like it's evil. Like success is evil. It's not evil. It's necessary. It's needed. The only people who complain about money are the people not willing to do what it takes and put in that hard work and grind out those days. Then they talk shit about people that have the money. Like you're all of a sudden evil if you're successful or make any money. It's, it's bullshit. It's fucking stupid, actually. So when it comes to your team, you need to let them be comfortable with money because all of a sudden they've been there for a year. They can't come to you and say, oh, all right, I, I think it's time for me to get a raise. 
Okay, why is it time for you to get a raise? Show me what, what, what have you done to deserve this raise, all right? You, you came here and got a job. You got hired to do this work at this high standard expectation that we set You were to get paid this amount. We agreed upon that. That's what you're doing. So you can't just come in and say, I'm doing this. I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing. That's why you're getting paid what you're getting paid. That was the agreement. You're not going to get paid more just for doing what you, you said you're going to do unless you, you, you started off them with like a, a kind of a probationary salary until it gets to their salary to do what's expected of them. That's the only reason. Other than that, you need to show me what value did you bring to the company? What did you increase our revenue? Not just our revenue, but our profit margins to the bottom line to justify that raise. Listen, I would love to give everyone a raise every fucking month and, and a bonus every month and gifts every month on, on our team. I would love it. It would be the best thing in the world. You know why? Because that means that every one of them freaking move the needle. Because if they move the needle, they will get it. And they do get it. But they can't just expect it. So you need to let them know that. They need to you know, hold their own carry their own weight, basically, times like two or three. Bezos even says times five or 10x their salaries, what they should be expected to produce just to get their basic salary. Not for talk about raises, just to even stay on the team, just to carry their own weight. It should be at least five, they should be producing at least five times their salary. Because shit, you have taxes, you have insurance, like the shit that you have to deal with. You're, you're fucking buying toilet paper, whatever else. Everything costs money. And the only way you can then reach more people is to market more. And that, what are you going to do if you reach more people? You're not going to get money from them. Sure, you're going to get money from them. You're going to extract money from them, but only because you're going to give them your service or your product and change their freaking life, make an impact on the community. Money is going to move your message. It's going to be, it, it creates change. So stop being afraid of money. Stop be asking, being afraid to ask for money. Stop being afraid to have the money talk with your team, with your family. Shit, even with some clients, you have to have some kinds of money talk when they're looking for those discounts and all this other stuff. But then they want to go, They'll, they'll, they'll tell you they want a discount or whatever, but then they want you, like for us, let's just give an example. Not this really happened. It might have, I don't even know, but they want a discount. They want it much cheaper. It's, it's just too expensive. You know, there's other gyms out there that are a lot less expensive than us. And that's true. There are other gyms, but then they want more classes on the schedule. They want the trainers to get more raises. Then they want their gifts, anniversary gifts when they hit six months and 10 months. And if they don't get those, then they start complaining, but then they want the rates to be lower. All that goes into it. We spend thousands of dollars a month just on appreciation gifts for random gifts to send out to people, just for cards, like we sending out those handwritten cards, shit costs money, right? Sending out little gifts, shirts, shorts, the, the our branded clothing, whatever, edible arrangements, random gifts we just send out to people, thousands of dollars a month, shit costs money. They want, you know, everyone wants your, they want our coaches or your employees, your 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 clients want them to be taken care of, right? They love your they love your team probably. They want them to be taken care of. You can't take care of them without money. They, so if you tell them, all right, I'm going to give you a disc. If I told them, all right, I'm going to give you a discounted discounted rate. But can you go at, see if that, you think that's okay with the coaches? Then I'll give them a discounted pay since you're getting a discounted rate, right? So how could I just discount everyone's rate? It just doesn't make sense. You have to think about that when it comes to raises, bonuses, and promotions with your team. And then when it comes to discounts and actual service, the high level of service we provide, it, it, our, our payroll is through the roof because we want to provide that higher level of service. So we have to charge a premium. And if anything, we probably don't charge enough for what we provide people. So you're probably doing the same thing. You need to think about it. Listen, in order to hire new staff costs money in order to spread out the workload on your team so they can focus on doing less things, but do them better costs money, but it also will hopefully generate money. You better, that, 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 that stuff, extra hires and stuff like that better generate more money. You need to upgrade your business, get some new equipment, some new machines, whatever you need to do in your business, new, whatever supplies, money, 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 all costs money. We donate to different charities every single month through the sweat angels checking app. But then we also, I send out to several military charities every month and we do all kinds of fundraisers. Literally we, we, either donate or raise tens of thousands of dollars every year. My goal is to raise consistently $1 million, raise and donate $1 million per year regularly. That's my goal, which we're working on. Can't happen without money. I can't even, I can't donate tens of thousands of dollars of my own money, just straight up donate. Forget about fundraisers. I can't just donate that much. How could you do that? If I can, and then you can't even do pay, you can't even make payroll. You know what I mean? So it all takes money. Giving gifts, having events and parties and client appreciation stuff for your members, for your team costs all costs money. Delivering value. You're delivering value for in exchange for dollars. That's what it is. That's what it's all about. You're marketing. You need to market. You, you know, just keep your doors open. 
Just keep your business up and running. Obviously, you know it costs freaking money. The service you're providing, you're giving jobs to the community, their employees, then they get, they want, they all want to be taken care of, right? Then you have employees, there's taxes, vacation pay, all these other state and all these other fees. You need to charge what you're worth, first of all. That's also the other point is don't be afraid to charge what you're freaking worth. Because change can't change can't be made until there's a sale made. So there's an exchange of money. Real real change can't be made. Sure, you can help people out and, and do things for free, but it's really not for free because it's gonna be your time, and you know your time is money that you could be making money to then create more impact, to deliver your message further out there. Basically, it's just an exchange of goods and services. The money is out there. You need to not be afraid of it. Don't be scared of money. Don't be scared of success. Talk about freaking money. Talk about money with your team, with your family, with even in a certain extent to your clients if needed to be. Because listen, when when the when the when the price of your when you drop your price on your services, when you drop the price on your services, you know who's going to pay the price? Your freaking the, whoever's, whoever's providing the service is going to pay the price. And that's your team. That's your staff. That's yourself. That's who's going to pay the price. It's not just like you can just give a discount because you want people to feel good about feel good about it or whatever for no reason. Someone has to pay the price. Someone's going to take that hit. So it's going to be you and your team. Everything costs money. Your, 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 your clients would not go to the cheapest doctor if their life is in danger. They wouldn't go to the cheapest lawyer if they're about to get life in prison. They would want to spend the most amount of money, whatever amount of money possible. If... If all it took was information for in our industry, if all it took was information to get people ripped and in shape, if all it took was information, everyone would be ripped. But it doesn't. It takes a level of coaching, a level of service, and same thing for your business, it, every one of your businesses. If if security just needed information for security, they need an actual guard, everyone would have secure buildings. Hair salon, everyone would have walk around with awesome hair like me if all they needed was information. Of course, the information is out there. They can get free information everywhere on all of your industries. But... Without the money exchanging hands, they can't get the real impact of it because they need that real service, that real actual product and service that you're providing. Money makes shit happen. Money, gives, of course, gives you freedom, all that other stuff, but stop looking at it as a negative thing. Don't look at it as a negative thing and make sure that it's clear. Teach your team about money. They need. They don't understand it a lot. Of them. They don't realize what, the, what, the way I just explained it here about everything. Everything costs so much money. They, they'll tell you. We'll get messages sometimes, and I'm sure you do. You get stuff from your staff. Oh, we should get this and this and this. We should get this and add this and this and this into the business. How the hell are you going to do that? Where's the justification for that? How's that? Is that going to move the needle, or we just want it because it's cool? It's not going to. Is that going to increase our retention? Is that going to increase our lead generation? Is that going to increase our sales? If it's not, not worth getting, just because it looks cool. And it, what? Guess what it costs? Freaking money. So you get the point. Money, 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 because it's impact, 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 which leads to giving getting your message and your impact out in the community i will talk to you later this is the mentorship motivator you are fucking awesome no excuses